Boxing Voice. Here with Angel Garcia, trainer of Danny Garcia. Angel, what do you expect from Saturday night? Well, I mean, the champ, I'm not even going to call him the champ. I'm going to call him Danny Garcia, but there's no title involved. Danny Garcia is going to go out there Saturday night the night and going to do what he do best, he win. Is the Lamont Peterson fight next? Well, that's the thing. I'm not going to pass Saga. I'm not going to call nobody out because that's not my job anyway, but it is who it is. I mean, it doesn't matter. We know Styles make fights, but we saw Danny demolish Lucas Matisse, whereas Matisse destroyed Peterson. Does that mean Danny's going to knock him out automatically? Well, I don't know because uh, what that fight did, what I noticed was I don't think they, Peterson was mentally prepared for that. I think he did himself go by all the knockouts he had and psyched himself out. But basically, he looked like he was more worried about getting hit than worrying about hitting him. So, I mean, listen, like you said two minutes ago, Styles make fights. You know what I mean? I can't say that because it's not there yet. That's the future. I can't read future. We've seen Danny do much better against guys who are flat-footed like Eric Morales, although he was able to stop Amir Khan. How does Lamont Peterson style match up with Danny Garcia? Well, Peterson basically stands in front of you. And he just he just wants to prove a point. He wants to stand, he wants to slug for he wants to slug for 12 rounds. That's a perfect style for Danny, but he's a puncher. I mean, I'm not gonna take nothing from Peterson, but he gotta play himself. So, you know what I mean? I'm listen, I'm gonna worry about Saga right now. Is it tempting to try to go for the knockout against Lamont Peterson seeing the Matisse fight? Well, no, because it, it's, it's boxing. I mean, anybody get clicked. The thing is, know how to respond. I mean, I know how to respond to the shots. Anybody can get hit with a good shot. You seen what Matisse did to Dan? He flew his mouthpiece out of his mouth, and then he sucked it up. He would hit somebody like that. Listen, he flew. Listen, his mouthpiece fits tight. Like I really got to stick my hand in back and pop it. You know the air, and he flew down his mouth. So that tells you a lot about Matisse. Somebody else probably would have been in a coma right now. Angel, I gotta ask you again about Kovalev versus Hopkins. Do you think Bernard's doing the right thing by taking Kovalev instead of Stevenson, which we really expected him to take first? The thing is, did Bernard, like Dan said earlier, Bernard been beating all the top guns. Bernard, like he said, he's the alien. It's not the alien, it's the alien Bernard Hopkins. Bernard, listen, this guy never passed the, the, the third round. He never been to deep water after the seven. Bernard gonna take him there. Bernard's smart, dude. And let me tell you something. Why is that little pity shot here, people with? I seen Bernard hurt a lot of people with that. Bernard take it for you. He just did something. He perfected that shot so good. Bernard perfected that. Solar plexus shot or is it like a liver shot or? Right here, on top of your, your mouth, in between your 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 esophagus. Yeah, that. Esophagus. Yeah, that. Esophagus. What is it called? Esophagus. There you go. <laughs> Listen, I'm Latino, bro. What you expect? <laughs> you know what I mean? I say how I hear it. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. The Boxing Voice.